Hey, Glyn Jewis here again with another Photoshop tutorial for you. And this time I just want to quickly show you how we can very easily, in a number of clicks, change the background of our pictures to something that's a little bit more interesting. And what I mean by that is we could maybe add like a, a spotlight effect behind our subjects. And for those who wanted to, we could maybe look at maybe changing the color of the background as well. And this is something we can achieve very, very quickly and very simply with just a few clicks within Photoshop. First of all, I'm going to show you how we can do that using Photoshop CS5. So to kick off things, as always, when we have our images in Photoshop and we're going to do any editing, we always duplicate the background layer. And we can do that by pressing Command or Control J on our keyboards, or by simply clicking and dragging that background layer down over the new layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel. The next thing we're going to do then is add a blank layer by clicking the new layer icon. And we're just going to fill that just so that we can see it with a simple color and I'll just go with the background color which is going to be white. Now ideally I want to kind of create the look where the background has a spotlight on it so to do that we're going to use a gradient but first of all I'm going to change the colors of my foreground and background first of all and I'm going to click on there and I'm going to virtually first of all choose something like a mid gray something like that. So now if we come over to our tools, part, tools bar we can see that my foreground color is gray and the background color is white. I'm then going to press G on my keyboard to select the gradient tool which is about halfway down on the tools bar on the left hand side and I'm going to make sure that I'm using a radial gradient and that is the second one along when we select the gradient tool we have a number of options at the top and it's the second one along just as you can see just where my cursor is just there. Okay the next thing I'll do then is just by putting my cursor in the middle of this document holding down my shift key clicking and dragging out to the side and then releasing that will give us this radial gradient where it looks as though we do have kind of a spotlight effect on the background and then the grey border around it as well. Once we have that we're going to then drag that new background gradient layer in between our two images in our layers panel. So now we can see we have our original background, we have the gradient layer we've just created and our background copy layer as well. Okay, and we're going to make sure that we're now working on the background copy layer, which is the layer at the very, very top. We're now going to make a selection of our subject to get them off this boring background. And we can do that by using the quick selection tool by pressing W on our keyboards, or again selecting it from the tools bar on the left hand side, which is just the one near the top, about the fourth one down, quick selection tool. And all we do then is just by clicking within the area where our subject is, just drag the cursor around inside so that we get them all selected. And don't worry too much about making a fantastic selection because this is, as it says, a quick selection. We can refine that later on. So we're just somewhere around about there, we'll be fine. Now, once we're at that stage, on this background copy layer, we're going to add a layer mask just by clicking it at the very bottom of our uh, layers panel here. And that gives us this look here. Now, clearly, that is not the finished product because we can see it's not a very, very realistic selection. But to make it a little bit more realistic, all we need to do is right click on that layer mask to bring up this dialog box here where we have a number of options. And one of them is refine mask. We're going to click on that. And then all we're going to do then, you can make a choice of how you want to view this uh, masking here. I actually prefer this red overlay. And then using the edge detection tool, which is the one just here, which is a brush just here. All we're going to do then is just paint around and we can change the size of the brush at the top left here go on this slider. All we're going to do then is just paint around the sort of hairline of our subject it's just so we pick up some of those loose hairs so it looks a little bit more realistic in our selection. So let's just painting around and Photoshop will pick up on some of those loose hairs and something like that will do just fine. Okay, so now if we just give you a different view, you can see rather than it being a jagged selection, we can see now, once that's sort of processed it, we can see some of these loose hairs are being picked up. And that all helps to make a very realistic looking selection. Okay, once we've done that, all I'm going to do then on the output section is make sure that it says set to new layer and click OK. Give it a few ticks and Photoshop does its magic and we end up with the image now extracted off that background as we can see here. Now, or I can get rid of this background copy layer by dragging that into the trash can. Now, if I want to change the color of this background, all I need to do then is click on where it says layer one, which is our graduated radial background, and then go to the uh, hue and saturation. Click on where it says colorize by putting a little tick in there. And then we can see we can just, to our heart's content, we can play with these little sliders and just change the color and tone of the background 
to get something that we're quite happy with. Now I actually prefer it where it's just just this nice and simple looking background here, but you know you can do whatever you want with things. That's the thing about Photoshop, and all of this is non-destructive, so we can just play around to get the kind of look that we're after. So that's a really, really quick technique using CS5. But what about those people who aren't using CS5, maybe CS4 and even before then? Well, there's a technique we can use to quickly kind of duplicate this look here. And I want to show you that now. But first of all, what we're going to do is just get rid of these two layers here. I'll just throw these away to the trash can. Uh, okay, so let's just say now that we've, uh, we're have we in Photoshop, okay, and we've not got CS5, we're in CS4, but we've done our, du we've duplicated our background layer, we've created this radial gradient, and we've actually ended up where we are, where we were before, sorry, when we had the gradient layer in the middle. Now for this technique to work, what we need to do is have this gradient uh, layer here at the very top of our layer stack. We're then going to change the blend mode of that layer to soft light. And then what we're going to do is just add a layer mask to that layer. We're going to make sure that our foreground and background colors are at the default. Let's just cancel that. We're going to come over here so we can see that they're at the default. I want my foreground color to be black. I'm then going to get a brush by pressing B on my keyboard. I have a fairly softish brush. We'll go for somewhere around about 50%. And all I'm going to do then is just paint within the area where our subject is to bring back the color and the contrast of her which leaves the background changed to the radial gradient. And I'll just sort of uh, paint within here just very, very quickly, just going up to the edge, not too far over so that we don't spill over into that background, like so. And we can check that we've covered all of that mask by holding down our Alt or Option key and clicking on the mask and it will reveal where we've missed, just a little bit there, a little bit at the bottom, like so. So now we can see very quickly, we've changed the background on this image as well. So we've got that kind of like a spotlight effect as well. Now, if you wanted to change the color of this, it's just one thing that you need to do slightly different. Before like, we went to the hue and saturation, we do the same again. So we use our hue and saturation uh, adjustment layer and we click colorize like before, but this time what's gonna happen is the whole of the picture is gonna be affected by that color change. To restrict it just to go onto that background radial gradient layer, all we need to do is put our cursor in between the hue and saturation layer and that radial gradient layer, hold down your Alt or Option key, and you'll see it changes to this little icon here, and that's creating a clipping mask. So it restricts this color adjustment only to the background layer, which is the one beneath it. So we'll hold down the Alt or Option key, and we'll click on that line between the two layers, like so. And now if I zoom out, you can see that the adjustment is only being made to that background. So we can again play to our heart's content to get the kind of look that we're after. And that is it. A nice, quick and easy way how to change the, the look and the color of the background either in CS5 or in CS4 or beyond. Hope you liked it and I'll see you next time. Okay.